Yes, men on average earn more money than women on average. Also, married men earn more on average than unmarried men. 50-year-olds earn more money on average than 20-year-olds. Maryland residents earn, on average, more, almost double, than Mississippians. White Americans earn less, on average, than Indian Americans, Chinese Americans, Bangladeshi, Cambodian, Taiwanese, Filipino, Hmong, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Pakistani, Laotian, Thai, Vietnamese, and Guamanian Americans, Jewish Americans, earn more on average than Catholic Americans. Most homeless people are men. Most people who commit suicide are men. Most homicide victims are men. Most workplace deaths are male. The vast majority of baby genital mutilation in America is done to baby boys. For centuries, men were enslaved, conscripted, into military service where they were killed, had their limbs and fingers blown off, then were left with post-traumatic stress Disorder, men are 98% of death row inmates. Men are 93% of prison inmates, quoting Thomas Sowell on the pay gap between men and women. Innumerable studies going back for decades have shown that women do not average as many hours of work per year as men, do not have as many consecutive years of full-time employment as men, do not work in the same mix of occupations as men, and do not specialize in the same mix of subjects in college as men. Back in 1996, a study published in the New England Journal of Medicine showed that young male physicians earned 41% higher incomes than young female physicians. But the same study showed that young male physicians worked over 500 hours a year more than young female physicians. When the study took into account differences in hours of work, in the fields in which male and female doctors specialized, and other differences in their job characteristics. Quote, no earnings difference was evident. In other words, when you compare apples to apples, you don't get the gender gap in pay that you get when you compare apples to oranges. For all that is holy, can we please stop the needless war between the races, genders, and other accidents of birth and focus on what matters if people achieve their ends in life voluntarily or violently. For more, see The Voluntarist Handbook. Link in the description below. Thank you for watching Keith Knight. Don't tread on anyone in the Libertarian Institute.